In this video, I'll walk through how to build an automation that turns Zoom calls into hundreds of quality posts automatically. So let's go over this automation and just step through it one by one so you can see how it works. First up here, we have the trigger. This is gonna run at some scheduled interval. In this next module here, what we're doing is we're doing a quick query into our database to find the most recent Zoom call that we have in the database so that when we process the rest of the recordings, we only process the new recordings. When you get the active recordings, it's going to return all of the meetings that are still active that haven't been deleted. So you don't need to process those every single time. And then here, we're just doing a quick check to see if there was any value here. If your database was empty, then there isn't going to be a last run date. So in this case, it's just gonna be false, and then it can come down and go ahead and start processing all of the recordings. So anytime you're running this from scratch or you delete everything, there isn't going to be a last run date because when you search the database, this is going to be empty and there's gonna be no date. In that case, then it's going to just follow this path and download all of the recordings. If there are previous recordings that we've put into the database, then we will have a date. And when we process that data, we can filter out based on that date. Then in this next module here, what we're doing is breaking apart the specific recordings that are part of each recorded Zoom conversation. So one of the important parts about setting this up is in your Zoom recordings, you wanna make sure that you're also automatically creating the transcription so that when you split out all of the different recordings for a given call, then you can then only process the transcript. So you can see here, we had three actual Zoom calls, then it split it out into 24 items because those three calls were broken out into lots of different calls like the active, speaker and the gallery view and the transcript. So for each one of these Zoom calls, we had actually eight different items, and then we filtered it back down again so that we're only processing for that transcript. Then in this next module here, we're actually downloading those transcripts. We're converting them into text because they're not actually transcripts. The way Zoom processes these is that they are a web VTT file, which is a lot like a SRT file, which has all of the timestamps and the transcript broken up into little chunks. So what we do here is we actually turn that into something that looks more like a transcript that we can then convert into a file. And then we can insert all of these files one by one into the Superbase vector store. And then once you have all of that Zoom content indexed into your vector store database, then you can use an automation similar to this, which is using an AI agent to search that database and then use OpenAI to take that content that it found and then rewrite it and then output that content out the other side. And it's important to remember that even though I only have a few conversations in here that were recorded previously in the day, as you add more and more content into the system over time from your client calls, from your sales calls, you're gonna have more and more relevant information that you can query against and create content from. 